Prashadetya, you are watching Learn Albanian Online. This is a free online lesson and we will talk about grammar. Uh, if you want to join this lesson on or any of the other lessons that I will organize later, join or visit my website learnalbanonline.net. The link is in the description box below. I have prepared a document, a presentation for all the viewers here and live from YouTube. So you can either open that link that I just sent it on the chat box or you can see my screen that I will start screen sharing in a few seconds. Um, uh, the link will also be in the description box for those who want to download the document. Uh, I will introduce myself in Albanian. Unchu emelson, unjam ga Shqipria dhe sot do të mësojmë Shqip, do të flasim për gramatikën, si do mos për foljet që mbarojnë me zanore, foljet modale dhe foljet e pa regulta në Shqip. We will talk about irregular verbs, modal verbs, and verbs that end in a vowel in Albanian. This is the fourth lesson regarding verbs, but it, it is lesson number nine regarding uh, the previous lessons that we have had, which means there is one more lesson. If you want to join, that one will be after two weeks, something like that. If you want to join, you can visit my website. Uh, here we have Gloria. Përshëndetje, Gloria, nga je, si je dhe pse je këtu? Uh, for Shandeti, I'm Mir, I'm in Derit, uh, I'm from Bulgaria, for Bamming and Gay, I'm Ktub, I'm a Duot and Mosos Chip, a Duot and Mosos Chip, I'm a Polchen Shum Juhatahoya, I'm a Polchen Shum Musica Chipe, the Duot of Las Mamir. Duot of Las Mamir, Mir, a Chfar Jewish flat, if you're Bulgarian. Shqip, uh, pak, po uh, po, uh, flas, bulgarisht, flas anglisht, uh, uh, italisht, <laughs> Americana, Montana, uh, uh, un, uh, dua matoi ship that they, uh, uh, calm shoku, ne shipperi, ne shipperi, oh, the shipperi, uh, the un, uh, daughter shkoi shipperi, ne, ne, ya, ne shipperi, uh, ne tetor de nantor. Na te tor dhe në tor, yeah. very correct, shumë yeah. uh, Ti që e shkeri, ti e nga Amerika, nga Montana, double nga there. Right. Okay. Or nga Montana, nga Amerika, etc. Both are locations, both need nga. Um, Tjetër, the rest is very correct. Ti do të vishë në Shqipri në te tor dhe në tor. Në qëfar dati 26 te tor, 25, kur? Uh, oh, how long? No, kur do të vish, 25 të torë, apo 25 të torë? Where, oh, where, uh, kur, uh, the, uh, it, it, Italia, <laughs> the Greek, Okay, Greek. mirë, so, okay, në Italia dhe Greqi, kur, when, 25th of, or 26th, something like that. Um, here we have Lenson from Taiwan, which is a small country from, in, in, nearby China, I guess, right? Lenson, person yeah. here? Përshëndetje, unë që kënë lënësën, unë janë nga Taiwani, po banoj në Taipei, unë janë një zetë pesë vjeqë, unë duat të mësoj Shqipë, sepse me plëqen Shqipëria dhe Shqipë. Dhe gjua Shqipë, shumë mirë, very well. Um, I have heard that Taiwan was is the first country to offer free Wi-Fi for the whole citizens, something like that. I read it somewhere. Is it right or not? Yeah. Is it true? It's true. Like okay. We have a lot of, <laughs> but it doesn't like it. Does, uh, it doesn't always work. It doesn't always work. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, we have some viewers from YouTube. Thank you for watching. If you want to join, there are uh, six more available uh, spaces you can join. Uh, go to the uh, description box at the very bottom. You can join there. Um, I will start screen sharing for those who cannot open the document. You can download the document in the description box below as well. If you have any questions, feel free to interrupt me anytime. If there's noise in your background, uh, mute yourself. Let's start with 
Verbs in present indicative. What is indicative? It's a mood in Albanian. What is a mood? It is how you choose to express a verb. If you want, if you want it to be like a wish, we use a different mood. If you want it to be imperative, it's a different mood, etc. If you just show a fact, it's different mood. So today we are going to talk about verbs that end in a in a vowel. Last time we talked about verbs that end in a consonant. We talked about uh, reflexive verbs, and the very first uh, lesson we talked about verbs that end in y. Uh, this is the last class about the verbs, and we will talk about both regular verbs, just like English and most languages, we also have irregular verbs, and we will also talk about modal verbs. What are these verbs, and how do we conjugate modal verbs? Uh, and of course, in present simple, uh, in present tense, simple or continuous, and we'll do some other exercises at the very end. Let's go to the second slide. Um, during the last three lessons, we have been talking about what a verb is. It's a word that shows an action, etc. And almost every sentence requires a verb, but not all sentences. You can just say "beautiful day." That can also be a sentence. Uh, in Albanian, we have verbs that end in "ja." We already talked about that. Verbs that end in M or reflexive verbs. Verbs that end in a consonant. We also talked about that. Today we'll talk about verbs that end in a vowel and irregular verbs. Um, and what is a mood? I mentioned it earlier. A mood is how the speaker feels about something that has been written or expressed by thoughts, by words, etc. The mood we are studying now, it is called indicative. We have these other moods, but the most common one is indicative, subjunctive, and imperative. We have other ones which are not very common, but they also exist, uh, and they are important also. Any questions so far? No. No questions? Let's go to the next slide. Let's learn how to conjugate verbs that end in a vowel. First of all, what is a vowel? I will write it here and then I'll delete it next. Uh, it's not very important. A vowel, it's a, it's a letter that's not a consonant that everyone knows. But what are the vowels that we have in Albanian? The vowels are these that I will write right now. Uh, a vowel is a letter that doesn't really take the uh sound. It's, it's uh, at the end, except the letter uh itself. So that is the letter a uh, right, right there that is the letter a uh, itself that is a vowel other vowels a a a uh, and then we have e o u and u so these are the vowels if a verb ends in one of these letters it's a verb that ends in a vowel because these are vowels and this is how we conjugate them uh there are not many verbs that end in a vowel by the way just some verbs uh, we are going to learn the verb P, which means to drink or to smoke. P. So I'll conjugate it here. Maybe some of you already know how to conjugate it. I will write it for those who do not know. Un P. It's very simple. P. P. I. I. O. P. I drink. You drink. He. She drinks. Or I smoke. He smoke. He. She smoke. It is the same in Albanian. The plural. Ne pim. We drink. You pini, you drink, ata, ato, pin, they drink. So the first three persons are the same for these types of verbs or these that you see in this slide. And for the rest, you add those endings, those suffixes that you see there. Very unique or very special about the plural you is that ending ni. Every single verb has that ending ni there, pini. Okay? Uh, punoni, masoni, lezoni, gatuani, that ni is always there. Um, how to make it negative? We put nuk right there. Unuk pi, I don't drink. This is the same for all the other persons. Or I don't smoke. Unuk pi, and then you have to, to add the word for cigarette or for if you, if you smoke weed, don't do that. Uh, cigare, it is in Albanian cigarette. Unuk pi, cigare, I don't smoke, etc. Um, or un cigare, I smoke, cigare, or du han. I think in English this is tobacco, something like that, Carrie? Yes, tobacco. Oh, tobacco, okay, that is du han. Or also the plant is called, because uh, the, it's a plant, that plant is called also du han. Um, un pi cigare, un nuk pi, is a negative form. Um, if you don't drink a very specific drink, I don't drink beer, a beer, un pi beer, I drink beer. 
Unupi beer, I don't drink beer, etc. Any questions? What, what, what is the continuous form? Because this is present simple, how to make it continuous. Let's choose another person. All you have to do is add the, the word or the, art, the particle po, which means ing in English. Un poppy, 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 the poppy flower. Un poppy, I am drinking. That means I'm drinking poppy. Chvar poben, un poppy. Uh, ti poppy, poppy, nya got me u. You are drinking a glass of water, etc. Um, how to change this to a question form? Let's pick another person, for example. Ne pim, it means we drink. How do we say do we drink? Or any other person, do you drink, do they drink, etc. All you have to do is change or inverse or flip those two words from ne pim to pimne, like that. But be careful with the intonation, like you're asking something. Pimne, do we drink? You can optionally add the word, the link, the letter A at the very beginning. A pimne, it is optional. If you choose not to use it, then be careful with the intonation. It must sound like you're asking. A pimne, do we drink, etc. Form a request. Shall we drink? We are still in the we person because a request is for we. Shall we? A suggestion. Shall we? A pim, a pim, shall we drink a coffee? A pimne, cafe. At me, coffee, shall we drink a coffee? Instead of coffee, any drink or cigarette, etc. Any questions? Yeah. So if you were to say, um, are we drinking? Would you say, um, a popim? A popim, that is very correct. Uh, yes, that's very correct. If you if you are dubbed to dubbed, so you, you are suspicious about what you're drinking, you can say that. Otherwise, if you're drinking, you are drinking, so you don't need to say it. Right. Right? So, uh, yeah. apo, apo pim raki, are we drinking raki? Because raki looks like water, it looks like, but it doesn't taste, etc. So, apim, okay. apo pim raki, are we drinking raki? Apo pim mui, are we drinking water, etc. Uh, um, apo pim raki, are we drinking raki? But in English, you say, are we drinking in the meaning of, will we drink? Do you say it like that, Carrie? right? Will we drink? Yeah, you can say that. Okay, now, now that will be in the future in Albanian. That will be a different tense. And in this case, you can, it would be better if you say, shall we in Albanian. So that construction there, apim. Okay. Okay, apim in cafe, shall we drink a coffee, apim, apim, something, etc. cetera. Um, that is the verb P, to drink or to smoke. Uh, there are some viewers for live from YouTube. If you want to join, go to the description box below. There is a link you can join there. Let's talk about the verb re, exactly the same conjugation. Lanson, can you conjugate that verb? Uh, okay. Unri, tiri, ai, ai, ri, ri, rim, you, rini, ata, ata, rin. Yes. Does it mean anything in, in Chinese, Ri? No. Okay. Um, near. Uh, ri is a verb to stay. Ri, ri, ri. Rim, rin, rin. Check out, compare it with the verb P, to drink or to smoke, exactly the same conjugation. Uh, it's a verb that ends in a vowel, just like P, etc. Um, those ending, the first three persons are the same. Those endings similar, the same, not similar, like the verb to, to drink P. Here, it, uh, earlier or in the previous lessons, I've mentioned that personal pronouns are optional. Here also are optional, but only regarding the context, only if you are sure what person you're talking about. Otherwise, you should use them because the first, the second, the third are the same, as you can see. Okay? okay. So it would be better to use them, but regarding the context, you also don't need to use them. Um, that's the verb to stay. To, uh, to tell me. What does urt mean? Now, word it means still. Reword, still. Stay still. Reword, stay still. Word it also means wise. So, a wise, wise man. Okay? okay. Here, this, this is, oh, I stay, I wrote there, stay word. Reword, that one. 
uh, reword, it means stay still. Re, surprisingly, it has the same form also in imperative mood. It stays re. So that also is also a command, re, reword. Uh, Ut is an adverb. It means, in this case, still. Stay without talking, reword. Okay, okay. okay. Yes. In other okay, meanings, I... word, it means wise. Tell me. Well, I was just saying, I learned that, like, you know, as a sentence, but I really knew, didn't know exactly what it meant. I was, right. You know, reword. You know, I didn't right. know exactly what I was saying. Okay, so right. stay still. Oh, right. Reword, it is very used, especially when uh, uh, parents talk to their children. Reword, stay still, don't talk okay. at. Gotcha. Okay. okay um, that's the verb to stay. Negative form, nuk ri. Nuk duat ri, I don't want to stay. That's, um, that's another mood. But read the verb to stay. Any questions there? Yeah, I was wondering what the difference between ri and chandroi. Uh, Chandro, it is the same meaning, Chandroi and Ri. Both of them mean to stay. They belong to different classes, Chandroi, Chandroi. Uh, you can say Chandroi na karige, to stay on the chair, or Ri na karige. Both of them are the same, interchangeable. Okay. Okay? Yep. Other questions? You can also ask about locations, um, uh, if you've got a new apartment or whatever, and I ask you, Kupo Ritani, where are you staying now? I will write it somewhere here. Or you can also say Kupo Chandron, where are you staying? The word Chandroi, it somehow highlights more uh, the location, so it, it requires more, more details regarding the locations. Kupo Chandron. I'll write the sentence here. Kupo Ri. Tani, where are you staying now? You can perfectly change it with the verb, exchange it with the verb chandron. Kupo chandron tani, where are you staying now? Chandron, it um, somehow requires more information regarding the location. Okay. The answer for chandroi na, na, na tiram, po chandroi ten Sony, I'm staying to Elson's house, etc. Other questions? Yeah. No. Okay. No. Um, in for Spanish speakers, that is the verb estar, but be careful you don't use it at all like you do in Spanish, like yo estoy, des, des, something like that. You don't use it like that. This is the verb estar. This is the verb to stay in a place, in a location. Okay? Not like the verb estar in Spanish. Uh, the same translation, but you don't use it like the verb estar in Spanish. Let's talk about the verb, the model, the verb D, which is to know something but not someone. Be careful. D. The conjugation is scary. Uh, un D, T D, I I O D, ne dim, uh, U dini, ata ato din. Din. That is correct. That is a verb to know something. Now, there's something about this verb because typically it's followed with accusative. I don't know it, I don't know the fact, so it is accusative a case we have not studied yet. If you say un, un, di, that means I know, but I know in general. It's not I know it. It means I know in general, un, di. If you say un, edi, I know it, which is a case we have not studied yet. Un, edi, I know it, or just edi, I know it. Negative form, nuk, edi, I don't know it. Okay, so undi, it, it is very odd because we don't use it at all, undi. It means something I know in general. We say unedi, I know it, or I know, I know him or her, we use a different verb. Negative form, nukedi, like that. That A indicates a, a case that we have not studied yet. I have a question. Okay, uh, tell me. Um, now, is it always a? Eh? Nukedi, not nukedi? It is, it is. Yeah, it is always a, uh, which refers to it, him, or her. It remains okay. a. Okay. Okay, nukedi, I don't know it. And here is the verb to know someone. We say nyo. Nyo. Nuk e nyo, I don't know him or her. Nuk e nyo. Uh, ti, this is a conjugation. Ti, nye, ay, ay, nye. I know, you know, he, she knows. It's not part of this class, but I'll conjugate it here. Ne, nyo, him, you, nich, ni. Atato nyo him. That's the verb to know someone. If you want to say I don't know him, nuke nyo. I know him and nyo. Any questions? Uh, no. Okay. 
here. These were, these were three verbs that end in a vowel, and that vowel was E right there. Exactly the same conjugation follows the next slide, number five, follows the verb ha, which means to eat. It does not end in like we like we had those verbs previously, ha, pi, ri, etc. It ends in another vowel, but it follows the same conjugation. Okay? So, un, ha, pi, uh, um, Gloria? Ha. Ha, ai, ayo. Ha, ha, you honey, honey. Ato, atato han. han that's all atato han uh, it follows exactly the same conjugation as as the previous verb that we conjugated uh, the same endings check out the endings however the root of the verb verb ends in a different vowel but it's still a vowel it follows the same conjugation unati hai ha un ha manjes i uh, i eat breakfast i have breakfast manjes like that Okay, un ha uh, What are you eating? Chfarko ha, I will write it here. Uh, look, I need the letter C with a comma. If anyone can type it, thank you. Chfarko ha. What are you eating? Chfarko ha. Okay, you can type it one second. Uh, alternative. I have it. Okay, I found it. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. So, chfarko ha. What are you eating? Poha, dark. I'm having or I'm eating dinner, dark, etc. Manjes, break is lunch, and dar is dinner. Um, Mir, any questions? Here is an idiom, a very famous idiom, especially for I'm children. Sorry, I have a question. Yes, um, tell me. If, if you say, um, how do you say, what are you having for dinner? Like, you're asking what kind of yes. food. Right, right, understand, understand. Now, I was about talking about that verb, but when we talk about the verb to have after after some slides, in English you can say I'm having dinner, I'm having lunch, etc. In Albania we don't use the verb to have, we use the verb to eat, ha. Okay. Okay, so chfar po ha, here is the question, chfar po ha, and then uh, for breakfast, for lunch, any of the words above, for man just. Oh, okay, okay. What this means, what are you eating for breakfast? What are you having for break breakfast? If you remove po, it switches to the present simple. What do you eat for breakfast? So, a general fact, a general question. What do you eat for breakfast? Okay, thank you. Okay, so per, per manjas, no car problem, per manjas. Uh, we use the verb ha and not the verb come like you do in English because come indicates something you own. I have something, I own something. Okay. It's not a question there, it's an idiom, it's a statement. Poi haku rizi or spina, which are synonyms. Poi haku rizi, literally it means his back is is eating him. The, the meaning, anyone knows what it means? No. No. Easy, his back is eating. Um, the meaning is he's, he wants to fight. He wants to fight. He wants to okay. fight. He wants to fight. He wants to fight. He's looking for a fight. He wants to fight. Poi haku Okay? Okay. Um, and one more thing. Another translation for the verb ha, it is more, more in the South dialect. It means to itch. For example, po dora. Um, it can also be considered like an idiom. Um, literally means the door is eating me. The translation is my door, my the hand. Sorry, the hand, not the door. The hand is itching. I'm itching my hand. Okay, the the my hand, itchy. Understand it? Um, um, this tell me. We have something like that, but I'm just trying to remember what the meaning is because we say he's got itchy palms, and I think it means he's expecting money or something like that. All right, okay. Now that's another thing regarding culture, etc. But this is when you your hand is really itchy, like literally itchy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, literally. Yeah, literally. Yeah, pomahadora. That means my hand is itchy. Pomahadora. Pom pomha pomhakomba. Whatever. Okay. Okay. That's another translation, typically for the South dialect. Uh, but the first meaning of ha, it's, it's to eat, ha. Okay. Any questions? I have a question. I have a question. Oh, go Lanson. Uh, go Lanson first. 
Okay, thanks. Uh, like the the uh, the first sentence, unha menjes and unha dragon, like she would put an N there or? Okay, now the pronunciation is at the end is silent, so drag, drag, drag. So like we don't we don't put an N in the end, so it's not an accusative, I guess. No. Oh, all right. Okay, I understand what you mean. If you if you put it in accusative, this the translation would be I eat the lunch. The lunch, mm -hmm. so great. Breakfast, non jetting. This is also accusative, but it is indefinite, an easier form to memorize. Un hamen jazz, that is indefinite. Definite, it will okay. be with an N at the end. Definite, it will be with an N at the end. Okay. Un hamen jazz, that means I eat the breakfast, which means the breakfast is nearby me, it's somewhere in the kitchen, and I eat it. It's, it's specific, it is definite. Okay. Mir? Mm -hmm. Gary? Mir. I just had a quick question. I had also previously learned that po iha kuridzi before, but I learned yeah. po ta ha kuridzi. What's right, that? okay, right. Now, the translation here is he wants to fight because we have this e here, okay? Or she also, it, it is the same for she. Po ta ha, it means you are looking for a fight. Oh. Okay, that's kind of what I was thinking, right. like you're talking to someone. The same one, the same one, but with the it means you are looking for a fight. Tota, ha, kurizi, or spina, it's another word for it. Okay, thank you. Other questions? Mir, these were some verbs that end in a vowel. Let's talk about some other verbs. Um, this, slide number six, uh, these verbs do also end in E, like P or R or D, However, they follow a slightly different uh, conjugation. And I will conjugate them here. The verb is hippie. Hippie means to get on, hippie. The conjugation is as follows. Um, one second, one second, one second. OK. To get on, also to climb. I'll write it here, to climb. Uh, the conjugation, un hippie, pi hippen. Same with the next one, ai, ayo. He fun. I get on, you get on, he she gets on, or I climb, you climb, he she climbs. Ne he pim, you hip me. And the last one, ata ato he pin. That is the verb to climb, hip in a mind, hip in a mind, like climb the mountain. He pin be skull to get on the, the, the stairs, the ladders. Uh, hippie, hippen, hippen, etc. Un po hippie na autobus. Un hippie na autobus. I get on the bus. Un hippie na autobus. Continuous form, I'm getting on the bus. Po hippie na autobus. But it is only that moment that you step on the bus, not the moment that you are on the bus already. This is just that moment that you enter the bus. You get on the bus. Po hippie na autobus. Po hippie na makin. Po hippie na makin. I'm getting on the car. Po hippie, wherever you else you can get on, okay? Mm -hmm. Here, far for bun, po hippie, not a bus. Ayo hippie, not a bus, etc., etc. So it follows a slightly different con uh, conjugation. Hippie, the first person, then it changes to hippen, hippen. Then it go, goes back to like, like um, those endings, im, me, and in at the very end. Any questions? I have a question. Tell me. If I if I wanted to say, are you getting on? Like you're waiting, and somebody's like standing in front of the, the bus, and they won't get on, and you want to say, are you getting yeah. on? Would you say, uh, apo hipni? Apo hipni, yes, formal. You are correct. Apo hipni, and then where? No, autobus. No, okay. Yes, autobus. That, because otherwise it means, are you getting on? But on where? Right. But on what? Okay. So, so you need it, to say where. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, apo hipni autobus. Are you getting on the bus? Okay. okay, thank you. Other ones? You are welcome, no problem. Other questions? Okay, let's talk about the verb etsy, which just means to walk, the action of walking. It's not really hanging out, it's not going out, it is just the verb, the action to walk, etsy. Um, then to take a walk, we have another verb, etc. Uh, the conjugation is the same as hippie, un, etsy, ti, etsan, just like hippen, ai, ai, yo, etsan. One second, one second, it's an. Ne, it's him. You, it's me, ata, ato, it's him. That's a verb to walk. 
uh, poeti, I'm walking. Kuposhkon, poeti, I'm walking. Poeti na chitet, I'm walking in the city. Po un poeti na, na park, in the park, etc. Tietzen, uh, tietzen, shum gadal. You walk very slow. Okay, shum gadal. Tietzen, shum gadal. In imperative, it changes to ets, which means walk. Ets, 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 walk, walk, walk. Okay? Okay, I learned that. When you're like okay. cheering yes. for a soccer team or something, you yell, yes. Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Yes. Exactly, yes. Like, walk, yes. Walk, walk. Exactly, right. Walk, 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 or more like run, run, run in this case, because he's yelling lots of times, like walk, 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 or run, run, run. Okay. <laughs> That's funny, okay. Right? Yep. Other ones? Okay. Um, let's talk about other verbs that end in a vowel. So we talked about verbs that end in E, such as RI, P, and D. Very similar conjugations follows HA, despite the fact that it doesn't end in E, but it follows the same conjugation. And we also talked about the verb hippie to get on an AT to walk, um, which follows a slightly different conjugation, but surprisingly or luckily they follow the same conjugation with each other, hippie and AT. Let's talk about other verbs that end in a vowel. L, the, the word uh, the letter uh, it's a vowel. So these verbs that end in uh are part of this class. L, L is a verb to live. But the, mo the more like, um, uh, L it's also to put, by the way, to put. I'll write a conjugation out, uh, later. Yeah, here is also the to put. Let me conjugate it here. L, Gloria, do you know the conjugation? Ah. Uh, um. Le, un le, ti le, aye yo le, a ne lam, a yo le ni, a tato lan. Yes, a tato lan, exactly the same as the verb P, RI, and D. The same endings, the first three persons are the same, etc. It means to live. Um, this verb is not really used in the in the um, in present. It's not used a lot, uh, but I can I will create some sentences. For example, un un po te le. That means I am leaving you. That's the it means you. It's again something else we have not talked about yet, but it's um, it's a new word for you. I am leaving you po te le. Okay. Uh, and another translation regarding put. Io le telefonin bi tavolin. In English, you can also say she she leaves the phone on the table or she puts the phone on the table. They are interchangeable. Okay, yeah. that's a verb uh, leave. Um, don't leave me. In Albanian, we say mos me le mos me le. Me it means me. The it means you, so most my love don't leave me, okay? Um, the, it's the verb to put, just like vendos, vendos, it's another word. Vendos, it belongs to another class, so we'll talk about the. The same conjugation theory. Okay. Un, <coughs> the, ti, the, i, i, o, the, ne, vam, you, Vani, ata ato van. Yes. Uh, oh, one second, one second. Here I wrote learn there, but there's something different there. It's lini actually, and here oh. is lini. Yep. Now I didn't notice that one. There is lini. That's the verb to leave lini, or to put. Okay. okay. Not with an other. Not with an other lini. The same with with vini, which also means you come, by the way, or you put. And then ata ato. I noticed it when I wrote this one vini. That's why ata ato um, van. Then it goes back to a. Okay. These verbs are all three of them are conjugated the same. That's why I put them in one slide. So un vertivai v ne van you vini ata ato van ne lam you lini ata ato lan. Etc. Okay. okay. Um, here's another phrase, vere. Gloria, do you know what that means, vere? Not really. Va to put. Do you know what is re? New. It means you, new. It has other translations. It means cloud also. In this meaning, is 
to put to put a notice. But the meaning is just to notice. To notice. To notice in Albanian we say vere. Vere. Literally to put a notice, the meaning to notice something. Okay? Any question? Here's an idiom, very common. You will like this one. Maybe Gloria knows it. Nuk e v uin na ziar. Nuk e v uin na ziar. I or he or she regarding the person, I will say I don't put the water in the fire or in the oven, in the fire, fireplace or wherever. The meaning, anyone knows it? It means I don't care. Oh. I don't care. Okay? I don't care. So I don't put the water in the oven or in the fireplace or also in the fire. Any questions? Yeah. 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 Um, the it's a verb to catch something. The same conjugation un. One second. Uh, to catch more like to catch with a, what's called in English with a trap. To catch oh. something with a trap. Okay, the to catch uh, with trap. I think that's a conjugation, right? Yeah. yeah. That, that that's the spelling. Trap, right? Trap. Yes. Yeah. Okay. In Albanian, that means a s. No, uh, uh, S, what's the other word? S, H. Okay, un, z, t, z, i, i, o, z, ne, zm, zini, ata, ato, zan. The verb to catch, okay, to catch something. Uh, in present, it's super rarely used. In past, it's very used. I caught something. Zura, it changed to Zura. Uh, the, by the way, also means voice, not as a verb. The, it means voice, the voice is a... Um, here's a sentence I will write with to catch. Um, um, chanta, chanta, nuk, z. One second, nuk, z, ma. The meaning is, oh, here's another translation for the verb, for the verb za. It also means to sit. So chanta nukzem the bag doesn't it doesn't fit anymore. There is no more place, no more room. Nukzem, the it's also to fit. If you have a very tight shirt and you want to wear it, if it doesn't fit you, nuk maza nuk maza. It doesn't fit me. Nuk maza. Okay. How can that does it fit? Tell me. Does it fit? How would you say what that? was it again? Uh, does it fit? Like if your oh, okay. trying to uh, oh. right. At the z. Oh, okay. So at yeah. At the z. Yeah. At the z. Uh, we also say the verb at the bun. By the way, bun it, it is the verb to make or to do. Um, in this case, it also means to fit. Does it fit you? Okay. At the bun, and then yours, the mother's, the vogel, etc. Nezam lepui, that means we catch uh, rabbits. A sentence. We catch, or we are catching lepus. Nepozam lepui. Catch rabbits. Other questions? Yeah, I was thinking, how do you say to catch the bus? Um, right. To catch the bus. In Albania, you can use the autobus. In. It is grammatically correct. However, uh, in Albania, we say cap autobus in nuke kappa nuke um uh it's a very strange verb let me write it here one second okay wait 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 okay so i did not you said or present uh just in present okay to catch the bus in Albanian, we have another verb for catch we say cap cap it also means to catch i think we conjugated last time in the verbs, the verbs that end in a consonant. Cap, cap, it's another one to catch. Cap, it's more like with hands. And Z, it's with, with the trap in this case. Okay? So, uh, cap autobus in to catch the bus. Okay? However, we would say more like the bus, the bus left before I got there. We have other 
other sentences that you would use to express to catch the bus, for example. We we say m iku auto autobusi li, uh, auto autobusi literally means the bus left me. The meaning I didn't catch the bus. Okay. Okay. You understand it, Gloria? Yeah. Okay. Um, any questions? Anything else? No. Let's talk about exceptions. Um, Exceptions are the verb dua, which is to want. It ends in a vowel where in an a it is an exception. The conjugation is as follows. We we have not conjugated un dua ti do ai ayo do ne duan you do ni ata ato duan. I can I want you want she wants he wants we want one they want dua. Uh, that can all, that is also the verb to love, by the way. Uh, but for the verb to love, we do have another verb, which is dashuroi. That's the verb to love. But people use more the verb dua, which means to want, rather than dashuroi, which is to love. On that, the conjugation. No dua, I don't want, etc. No dua beer, I don't want beer. Chfardo, uh, what do you want? I'll write it here. Chfar. Fardo, what do you want? Fardo nga un, nga un, what do you want from me? Okay? Ne dua mi pizza, we want a pizza, etc. Any questions? That is the verb to want, however, in the next slide we will talk about modal verbs. That is also a modal verb, that's the modal verb want, but not to want. Okay, for example, I... Uh, I want to go to the cinema. That is the verb want, the model verb want, but not to want. We'll talk later in the next slide. Do I is the verb to want? Any questions? No, no. Okay. If you are watching live from YouTube, thank you for following us. You can join the free uh, this lesson. There are some available seats. You can join in the description box below. There is a link. Uh, you can join there. Um, Mir. Let's talk about the verb be. Gloria, do you know how to conjugate that verb? Be is a verb to fall. It has hundreds and thousands of usage, usages. Um, Gloria, do you know how to conjugate that? Uh, I don't really remember it, to be honest. Un, be, ti, be, ai, ayo, be. One second, yeah, be. Ne, be, you, bini, atato, be. That's a conjugation. Uh, why it's irregular? Because of that ni there, be ni and not be any. If here it be any, grammatically it's not correct, but you understand what it means. Be, uh, it means to fall. Now let's enter the world of a thousand meanings of be. Uh. Let me write some sentences here, just some of them, not 1000. I We don't have time. One second, okay. Uh, be, it means to fall, but if you say be, uh, telefoni, it means. Gloria? To ring. Yes, correct. Let me write it here. Be, it means to fall, but be telephony, literally, the phone is falling. We can also mean literally the phone is falling, it's falling from somewhere, etc. But the first meaning is the phone rings. Okay? If you put po in front of it, you just change it to ing phone. The phone is ringing, po be telephony. Or just be telephony, the phone rings. That's the first usage of be. The next one is be. I'll write it here. Uh, be there. Literally means the door is falling. The meaning is someone is knocking at the door. Someone is knocking at the door. Okay, be it there. Literally, the door is falling, which can also fall. The door falls, of course. Uh, but the first meaning is. Uh, someone is knocking at the door. ING form, you put po in front of it. Po be there. Okay, any questions so far? No. Mir. The next one is be either she or either bore or brasher. Literally, it is falling. She, which means rain. It is falling bore, which means snow. It is falling brasher, which means hail. Um, the meaning is it's um, 
uh, be a she. It rains. It rains or it snows. In English, it hails. I think it's not correct, but there is hail. There is hail. So be a brasher in Albanian. Why? Because these are three things that fall from the sky. That's why we use the verb be a. Be a she, be a bore, be a brasher. It rains, it snows, and there is hail. If you put Paul in front of be a, po, be a she, it is raining, po, be a bore, it is snowing, etc. Any questions? No. no. And the last one, there are many others, but the last one is be a thermet. Now it doesn't make any sense, uh, literal translation, it is falling earthquake, but the meaning is there is an earthquake. Okay. Right there. And then be an dashuri uh, to fall in love, be an jum to fall to fall asleep, be an gamasimet to fall from the lessons. The meaning is to to get to receive to get bad grades. Okay. Do you have a word for that in English? Flunking. <laughs> Failing. What? Failing. Uh, right. Failing. It's more like um, when you fail it all. But here is you had good results. Now you no longer do. Oh yeah, you say that you're. Um... Okay, you're failing comparing to what what you were before, something like that. So being on the cement, we say in Albanian. Mir. Um, it has many many other translations. Let's talk about the verb fle to sleep. The conjugation is as follows: un fle ti fle ai ayo fle ne. Lem you flini ata ato flem. That's the verb to sleep. Uh, that is the verb to sleep. Uh, why did I highlight this? Because we also have a noun for the word sleep. We say jum, but that's a noun. So in Albanian, it's very common to say um un fle jum. I sleep sleep, or um po fle jum. I am sleeping sleep. It's very common in Albanian. Okay, far po ba. Chvarpobun pofle jum, chvarpobuni poflem jum, etc. Any questions, Lenson? Any questions? So, yes. so, so jum uh, is like the noun sleep. Yes, correct. Just like the verb to work, which is punoi, and work, the destination, the place, it is pun. The same, fle, it is to sleep, but okay. jum is sleep. Like noun, okay. So fle it is the action, and jum it is the noun, the thing that you are doing, but the noun of it, not the action itself. Okay. Okay. It's not correct not to say un jum or un po jum because that's not a verb, that's a noun. Un po fle jum. Okay. Could you just say un po fle? Un po fle. Very well. I'm sleeping. Okay. 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 Un po fle jum. I'm sleeping. Sleep literally. Any questions? Yeah. Okay. Let's talk, let's create some sentences. Um, number one, uh, slide number nine. Ti nuk di as Carrie, do you know what that means? You don't know anything. You don't okay. know Okay. Okay. So you don't know nothing. Ti nuk di as That is very correct. As it means nothing. Is it correct to say you don't know nothing or anything? We would say anything. Anything, right. Because it, uh, I was also surprised because it's double negative, negative, that's why. Uh, right. That is, uh, you don't know no anything or you know nothing also. Yeah, yeah, you say that. Okay. For, ex for example, uh, let's, say, let's say you know nothing, Jon Snow, right? Okay. That's the, yeah. phrase, that's the phrase we would use, Tinu Diaz Jon Snow. Uh, Gloria and Lanson, you should watch Game of Thrones. That's the reference there. Yeah. Okay. Mir, Tinuk Diazja. You don't know nothing. Double negative, very common in Albanian. Let's talk about the next one. Now be careful here because dirty minded people do their stuff. Um, the verb P is the verb to drink and D is the verb to know. However, these two verbs, when they are next to each other, uh, Dirty-minded people, they, they, they think about another word, which is a bad word. Bad word. So take so your time, take your say time. the word P, take your time, rest a bit for one minute, and then say the rest of the sentence. Okay? So P, now let's talk about something else, and then the Dijora. 
You understand it? I don't know what Jera is. Okay, Jera means, means things. I drink and I know things. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's another reference from Game of Thrones. I drink and I know things. P. Jura. Okay. Okay. Any questions? No. No. Okay. Mir. Um, any sentences that you'd like to create that you have already created during while I was explaining anything? Okay, let's talk about irregular verbs. Irregular verbs are uh, verbs that are, don't really follow a conjugation, don't follow any rules you have to memorize. These ver in these verbs uh, belong the verb yam, to be, and come, to have. The conjugation is as follows. Un, yam, ti, ye, ai, ayo, ash. It's irregular, as you can see, it changes totally the form. Ne yeni, liu yeni, ata, ato, yan. These are verbs that are irregular regarding the present because in English, irregular verb is a verb that is irregular in the past, which means uh, it changed totally the form in the past. In Albanian, an irregular verb, uh, in this slide, in this lesson, we are referring to verbs that are irregular in person, for in present, from one person to another. Okay? Not like, not like in English, the verb that you have there. Um, this verb does not take ing form, it's not correct. Uh, it does take negative one, unukyam, I am not, etc. etc. Question form, unyam, it's statement, question, yamun, am I? Like that. If you're watching live from YouTube, we have 10 more minutes. If you want to join, you are welcome. Let's talk about the verb to have similar. The conjugation is unkam, kike. Ai ayo ka neke mi you keni ata ato kan. I have you have he she has he have you have they have. Uh, it is again irregular. It doesn't follow any rule, and you have to memorize it. You do not you do not use this verb like in English. I'm having dinner. Don't use this verb. We use the verb how to eat that we mentioned earlier. Any okay. questions? No, I'm just saying I have to go. So okay. have a great time. Thank you for joining and I'll see you in the next class. Bye there. All right. Thanks guys. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye, bye. Gary. Uh, so these are the verbs to to be and to have. Any questions here? Yeah. These verbs yeah. are very important, not only about the verb the present tense, but also when we build, when you construct or we build compound tenses. For example, I have work. We use the same verb. I was, uh, I have been working again. The same. We would use the same verb. So these are very, very important. Okay, mere uh, negative form the same. You do not put po also in front of the verb to have. Do not put po there. If you hear it, it's not correct. Uh, these are two irregular verbs. Uh, I also included the verbs that are exceptions to the rules we conjugated, to the verbs we have conjugated in the previous lesson. So we have learned that V is an exception to verbs that end in J. Uh, we consider it as an irregular verb because it doesn't follow the rules that we have mentioned. The conjugation, we have conjugated also in the previous lesson. I'll write it here. Un V, Vn. Here is the irregular part, I, I of Vn, because it changes the vowel. Ne vim, you vini, ata, ato, vin. I come, you come, he comes, we come, you come, they come. This verb is typically followed by, by nga, to come from, vinga puna, I'm coming from work, etc., etc. That's the verb to come, vi. Uh, it is irregular just because the second and third person changes the vowel. And blay, now blay, there's something tricky about blay, I'll write it here, um blay, the blend, I, I, yo, blend, I buy, you buy, he, she buys. Uh, so far, it's regular. Uh, ne blame, we buy. Now, here it is, you blini, you buy. As you can see, again, it has changed the structure of the verb, you blini. And the last person, ata, ato, blame, they buy. Uh, any questions? Yeah. Yeah. And the last irregular verb is the verb sem. This is to say or to tell. This is the most irregular verb that we have in Albanian and the most difficult one to memorize because of its diversity of its irregular form. Un sem. 
is sua. I I of soft. I say you say he she says. Um, me semi you sony ata ato son. We say you say they say. This verb of course takes ing form. It takes negative form, question form, etc. Uh, that's the verb to say or to tell. Farpo sua. What are you saying? Etc. Farpo sua. I'll write it here. Far. Oh, one second, one second. Okay, far post what? What are you saying? Okay, or here's another one. Far thought. What what does he say? Far thought. Or far post thought. What is he saying, etc. Any questions? No. Here. Yo, yo. Let, let's talk about modal verbs. We will have just a, a lesson just for this point because uh, there's a lot to talk about these modal verbs. Today I will not create sentences with these. I will just let you know how to conjugate a modal verb in Albanian. First of all, a modal verb is a word that, that is used to, uh, to show if we believe something is certain, it's probable or possible. So it shows one of these three uh, conditions. In English, there are many. In Albanian, they are way, way easier. Uh, in Albanian, modal verbs are mund, duhet, then we have duhet, then we have kam mund si, kam nevoj, and, and, and dua. What's their translations? Um, let's start from the very bottom. We said that dua is a verb to want, but as a modal verb, it's just want. Kam nevoj literally means to have a need. To have a need. Meaning is just need. That's a modal verb, need. Kam nevoj, just need. I need to. Kam nevoj, etc. Kam mundasi, that is literally means to have a chance. To have a chance or a possibility. The meaning is can, just can, I can, on kam mundasi. Do have, that is either must should or have to. In English, they're totally different from each other. Uh, they are difficult to memorize. In Albanian, just do have inclo includes all these three. And mund, it is also can or might. I might, he might, etc. In Albanian, we say mund. These are the models verbs that we have in Albanian. Memorize them like this. These two, mund and do have. Then we have kam mund si, kam nevoj, both of them with kam. And then the last one, which is dua. Any questions so far? No. Yeah. Okay, that's all modal verbs that we have, no other one. Let's go to the next slide. Let's learn how to conjugate these verbs. Let's start with the verb, modal verb can, mund. The conjugation is as follows. Un mund, si mund, ai ai mund, ne mund, you mund, ata ato mund. That's all. It remains the same. It doesn't change the structure at all. Do not confuse it with the modal verb mundem, which also means can. But that's a modal verb. That's a reflexive verb. And this is a modal verb. OK, what we are talking about are modal verbs. Uh, this one below, it still means can, but it is a reflexive verb. OK? Un mund, ti mund, mund, ne mund, 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 etc. Negative form, un nuk mund. I cannot, etc. That's a modal verb. Uh, can uh, or also might. I mentioned earlier it's also might. Um, why I will not create sentences or examples? Because these modal verbs follow a mood we have not studied yet. So in this lesson, just memorize how to conjugate them. And when we talk about that that mood, which is called subjunctive, then you will understand it better. Okay. So that is the modal verb mund. Let's talk about do have, which means have to, must, or should. The conjugation is exactly the same. Un do have, do have, I, I, do have, do have, ne do have, you do have, ata, ato, do have, like that. That's the modal verb, negative form, nuk do etc. Do not confuse it with the modal verb do hem, which means to be, uh, to be needed. Do him, okay, to be needed. Uh, and this below is the model verb. They both of them remain the same form from one person to another. They do not change. Any questions? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
And the last slide, uh, one more thing, they do not take continuous form. Un do head, it's not correct. Uh, none of the persons takes ING form. The last, the last slide, let's conjugate cam mundo si and cam nevoi. Cam mundo si, which means can, and cam nevoi, which means need. The conjugation is as follows. Only, re, only conjugate cam, the mundo si will remain the same. So, un cam mundo si. Pique mundo si. Ayayoka mundo si. Mundo si doesn't change. Only cam, the, mod, the verb cam. Uh, ne kemi mundo si. You can mundasi and the last one ata ato kan mundasi. I can, you can, he can, etc. And the last one exactly the same. Come nevoi, just change the word. Come nevoi remains the same. Un come nevoi, dike nevoi, ai ayo ka nevoi. Ne kemi nevoi, you can nevoi. And ata ato kan nevoi. That's all about these verbs. We also have dua, which we learned how to conjugate it as a regular verb a few slides previously. Uh, the conjugation is the same as, as a normal verb. Also, as a model verb, the conjugation is the same. Uh, it's important to note that these verb these model verbs do not follow uh, um, the mood that we are studying now do not follow indicative mood. They follow subjunctive mood, a mood that we'll, we will study later. OK? Uh, any questions, any comments, any suggestions, anything else? No. <laughs> OK, Mir. Uh, this was the lesson I prepared. You can download this lesson in the description box below. And the next lesson will be after two weeks. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but you can check my website, learnaldayonline.net. You have it written there. Um, I want to thank you very much for being present. And for those who are watching live on YouTube, thank you also very much. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me, OK? OK. OK. I wish you all the best. Thank you very much again. And see you in the next lesson. Miro Pafshim, Falim Derit. Falim Derit, Miro Pafshim. Falim Derit. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.